All right. You're live. I am live? Is there anybody on? Nope. Nobody's on. But. What? Go talk. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> okay. So, put on me for a little bit while we chit chat through this. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to sit down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously, we're new to this stuff and we are winging it. Okay. So I'm doing a different type of format. I'm doing some lives for what we're calling our three color lives. And we're going to do this in a different kind of way. We're going to have like the intros in the beginning, you know, everybody saying hi and all that, getting acquainted, getting set up and all that. And then I'm going to officially start the video, um, do my tutorial, show you the colors, how they work and manipulate. And then I'm going to end the video kind of, meaning I'm going to put a conclusion to the video and then at the end of it, I'll answer all of your questions that you have in mind. So in the chat, put the questions in there and then when we get to the very end of, I guess you can say backstage, that's what we'll call, we'll call it backstage. Yeah. Um, so at the backstage portion of the video, we'll answer all the questions and then when the video is uploaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim back the beginning and the back part. So it'll just be the tutorial for referring back to to make it a little bit more on the seamless process. So we have news. We are gonna be putting up alcohol dyes up on our website. This is a new adventure and project and we've been getting a lot of, I guess you could say friendly encouragement, pushing a lot of interest. So we're doing this. This is new for us. And these are the first three colors I've mixed up. So one of these um, I used recently, but they're, you know, this is new colors for us as far as like official colors. So what I'm going to do on our three color lives is we'll have basically two colors that are going to be new each, each day. We're going to do, and then, wait a minute, let me start that over again. We're going to have two colors. And then we're going to have a metallic or a special effect, like whether it's a mica powder or interference or chameleon, something like that, to go along with the other two colors. Um, I'm going to do swatches, and then I'll do a big board piece so you see how they work together. So that's, that's the plan. And uh, we're going to have lives Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week. Possibly Friday. That's a little iffy on the Friday part. Um, just to get us started. And then from there on, we're going to do a new live every week. Um, and then possibly a feature and once every two weeks, you may a big project going on. In fact, I've got a couple in the works in the background there. But um, Mikey, Pam, we've got lots of colors that we're, we're working with and such. So in the baskets there, we've got a bunch lined up. Possibly, you know, we're going to be releasing about 20 colors, I think, in the beginning. And then we'll work on the next batch of 20. Because I think you can get, you know, kind of overwhelmed uh, as far as, like, color selection. So we want to get a lot of neutral tones. Or, I want to say almost like natural tones. Things that would naturally incur in different stones. And then colorful areas for people who want to treat it more in an artistic direction or add a little bit of splash of color into their piece. So we've got two basic clients, um, art in an art direction and also countertops people. So both of you guys might have similar interests, you might have separate interests. So I would encourage you to give me any hints and tips along the way, what you're interested in and what you're not interested in. Cool. So you got that? Yeah, we're live. Would you like to talk with some people? We got people? Yeah. We got lots of people. I see words. Say hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. We got Christy in here, uh, Jay Meeks, Jody, Belinda, um, oh, Maureen and Debra, CB, CNB. Oh, cat. Cool. Oh, we got somebody from Canada. Nice. Oh, and the Netherlands. Wow. Okay. I'm a, okay, now I got officially nervous. <laughs> and Julie. Hey, Julie. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, let me go back and I'm going to uh, reiterate this a little bit again. Uh, again, I, I am all tongue-tied. I'm going to work this out, I promise. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a segment in the beginning where we're saying all the hellos and stuff. 
Then I'm going to have my tutorial bit where I just get down and get busy with the, the colors, show you swatches, show you a full piece. And then at the end of what we're going to call the backstage, I think backstage works. I like that mm -hmm. more and more as I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'll answer any questions that you've got um, and concerns and things like that. So, and then at the end, after the video is uploaded, I'm going to edit the first bits out. So it'll be a real clean tutorial for reviewing back mm -hmm. later on. So, all right. Uh, any quick thoughts or suggestions I need to get to? Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, Gina Bean is here. And Jillian Fraser is here. Cool. Hello. And thank you for showing up. I'm, oh, I'm excited. And nervous. Okay, everybody say hi to Mikey because he's in the background. Hello. Making this thing work. Okay, let's get to it. You ready? You want to spin this around and keep an eye out on this? All right. So I'm working with my alcohol dyes and I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put together some projects or um, some products to get. I am really tongue tied. Can you hear the nurse? Slow down. It's okay. <sighs> Okay. It's not rush. So I'm officially start my video. Howdy, howdy, y'all. We are going to be working with three new colors. My first color here, this is my alcohol dye collection. And this one is espresso. I think we all need a good collection of browns. So I just wanted to show what this looks like in a dark and a light. Here. These behave very similar to alcohol inks, except for they're made out of a dye solution. So they work really, really well with resin products. But like with any um, alcohol inks, it's a good idea to seal them up before you do the next step. And I will be putting together um, alcohol dyes with micas in there and those will be very important to seal up because you will have loose powders on the surface. All right, that one works out rather nicely. All right, I'm gonna swatch them out separately so you get to see the color and this is a blue violet color it looks rather blue right now there's some purples in there okay And I'll be sharing in the description uh, the recipe for those who want to mix up their own. But we'll be having a lot of products that have things in there that'll be hard to do. <laughs> the recipes, like the mica powders, is kind of hard to share the recipe for those. And the metallics as well. Alright, there's that. And then... I'm calling this one Essence of Gold because it will do nice little sprinkles everywhere. We're going over the other colors just a little bit. We're going to have a variety of golds and some silvers as well. Right, you want to bring them in on that one so they can see closer? We need this other cup. We need to do a dance around so they can see the shimmer of the gold
All right. So this piece that is here is already an epoxy board. However, I've put UTC on the top of it, and this one happens to be the matte UTC, which is the ultimate top coat. And don't do this normally if you're gonna do this for a table. What you do is you wait for the ultimate top coat afterwards. I'm doing it in this aspect so that I can use this as a practice board and wipe it off every time. So <laughs> what I would recommend you do is you do your normal epoxy background to get a nice slick surface, do your alcohol dyes on there, seal it up, do a flood coat, and then the ultimate top coat. So I just wanna make sure that I, I repeat that in this process here so that nobody goes and accidentally does that kind of a situation. So I'm just gonna flood this with some alcohol to allow the colors to move. Give my colors a good shake. And then just apply and start working on them and moving them around. Whoops. <laughs> and throw them all over the place. Whoops. I'm sorry, it's just the ring of it. And this is a good time for that to happen. And you can build up these colors. You can make them go real delicate. It's just up to you. If you get some drops on there that want to start drying up too soon, just loosen them up. So as I usually say when I'm messing around with alcohol, inks, or dyes, that the uh, colors are very loose within the alcohol solution. And when you apply air to it, that all the color moves to one side or the other. So it's kind of like, you know, you're the sheep dog and you're moving the sheep around. So it's that uh, the, uh, the pressure from the air moves it, the colors from one side to the other. You can go down below, uh, directly down, or you can go from the side, or you can even do indirect by doing it this way. This is going to turn out pretty nicely already. Alright, let's see. I usually add a little bit of alcohol before I add any other color. In. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the gold here, just to get it to move around. And I just use a regular travel dryer. It's nothing fancy. And it has just the right amount of um, power to it. That allows you to manipulate it rather rather easily. What you thinking? See a Mikey dodging mm -hmm. up and down. You trying to get the right light? That's a good angle. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do some color over here. A little bit of. I want to do something that's bold in one area and then something that's a little bit softer in another. So that way it appeals to everybody. Now you can go in with a paintbrush 
on your edges and dab it with a little bit of alcohol to kind of clean them up or even allow your alcohol to drip off the edges to kind of activate and get your colors to move a little bit. I'm just going to soften this edge up a little bit by applying a little bit of alcohol and bringing the color in and out. Is this with regular heat or cool? It has two settings, like a medium setting and a high setting. I have a tendency to use the medium setting, and then I use the distance with my dryer to help direct it. I kind of do the same thing with my heat gun when it comes to resin, where I am using the distance of my heat gun to uh, help me navigate the temperature. instead. Because I know there's some heat guns out there that also have uh, temperature settings too. Yeah, do I have a plan? Sometimes I do, sometimes I just go on the fly. This is one of those things that works a lot by feeling like, oh, it's a little bit too light or it's a little bit too dark. And if it's too dark, just dab it with um, a paper towel with some alcohol. And you can remove some of, the, some of the color, add a little bit of alcohol, and then re-blend it back in. So it's easy, easy to fix. What do you think, Mikey? You think it needs anything else? It's looking good. I kind of like yeah. it. It's very simple. And yeah. Kind of on the elegant side. Now, I've got some heavy areas in here. Did you want to bring them in a little closer? Where well, there's an accumulation of dye right here. I'm going to get... Oh, we lost yes. we lost the light for a little bit. I think oh, we're no. back. Oh, we lost yes. we lost the light for a little bit. I think oh, we're no. back. Are we back? Uh-oh. We are in the country. I am sorry. Sometimes that will happen. We are back. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to stop here. Wait a minute. What do you guys think? Here, let me bring them in. Will you hand it to me and I'll... There you go. All right, excuse my grubby paws. Let's see. Let's do an overall. And then bring in... I Here I am tapping the screen trying to get it to focus like I would on a video. So that works out really pretty. I'm liking the gold. And here's just the bare hint of color and the little sprinkle of gold there. Okay. Focus. That looks really cool. I dig it. it looks awesome. Okay. So I'm going to do my ending for now, but hang on. You guys hang on for just a moment. Thanks for hanging out with me. Check out my website, clairelawrence.com. I'm going to have some different dyes available for you guys and some artwork. So please check me out. And thanks for hanging out. All right. If you guys got some questions, put them in the chat right now. And let's talk. I guess backstage is now proceeding. <laughs> Any questions? Oh, you're just going to give me the whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mikey is handing it over. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me go. I'm scrolling all the way up to the top and looking for any questions. Um, boo, 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 boo. I don't know why I said boo, 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 but I did. You guys make like weird little silly sounds when you're thinking and you don't have any words yet. Well, um, Julie, yes, uh, for the most part, this is um, alumni dyes going into alcohol, and uh, but also going to be doing combinations of different uh, alcohol dyes and different micas um, and other colorants too. But for the most part, the two colors that I use today 
the espresso and the blue uh, violet are uh, alumilite dyes. So I'll put the recipes down in the description for those of you who want to make your own mixes. You can do that uh, with no problem. Look, it's just really super light right here. Little sprinkles of gold and stuff like that. Hey, Sue. Welcome aboard. Good day, mate. Uh, hi, Jody, And thanks for joining in. Okay. Are you guys cool with this uh, format? We're going to be doing this for the next few days. And then periodically, I'm going to be putting in a video of a uh, feature video, big project. Come here. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to look. I'm it's sorry. It's okay. Camera's here. <laughs> Go for it. I'm sorry. You're trying to figure it out. So I've got a couple big projects that I'm working on over here uh, in the background. <laughs> Try to guess what that is. I'll give you hands to Dragon eventually. And and eventually on that one too. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what we're, we're working on right now. Can you use resin tint in alcohol for ink? Some of the resin tints, yes. Um, like the Just Resin tints and the Color Passion or Color Obsession tints. Yeah, but they sometimes don't like each other and it's not, it's not a pretty thing. So if you're going to do that, pick one product uh, to work with. That's one of the reasons why I switched over to Illumilite dyes because they seem to work well with the micas and a, a bunch of other, you know, resin art and other products. So that's why I did that. But you could probably um, do the tints and maybe some of the micas. You're just going to have to play with it to figure it out. But definitely don't mix like the Illumina Light, the Color Passion, and I'm um, sorry, Color Obsession, and Just Resin tints together because it, it, you won't be happy. <laughs> So, let's see. Color Obsession work with pinata. Um, as far as adding that color to pinata inks, um, I haven't tried that. You might give it a try. Let me know. Because I know where you're hidden. You're probably hidden uh, on playing with the opal. This is Sue over in uh, Australia. Huh. And she likes to experiment like I do. Nice. Um so, yeah, let me know. I'm curious about that one. Um, but, um, okay. So, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I'm going to be putting several videos, uh, lives out in the road this week to kind of build up on some alcohol dive videos. We're going to have right a now. live uh, at 3.30 for Monday through um, Thursday. Monday today. through Thursday for sure um, this week. Uh, Friday's a little bit on the iffy side right now. We'll have to see. Uh, I may be going out of town this weekend, so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Later, y'all.